they were talking basketball. Russians love basketball like we do. And uh, the Russians were talking about ball. And my nephew said, well, you know, I have an uncle that was, you know, he played a little basketball. I said, you probably never heard of him. He said, Kelly Coleman. He said, the guy said, King Kelly Coleman? <laughs> so somebody in Russia knew who I was too. It is impossible to find someone who loves Kentucky high school basketball to have never heard the name King Kelly Coleman. His name conjures images of greatness, but his story is also one of myth, vulnerability, and humility. 50 years after his most legendary feat, he never understood the acclaim which surrounded him. What it is, I don't know. Possibly a lot of it could be because a lot of the records that I had then, uh, they're still standing. That could be uh, probably a part of it, I would say. The numbers Coleman put up during the seasons between 1954 and 1956 are astronomical. More than 4,000 career points, 185 points in four state tournament games, 75 points and 41 rebounds in one matchup, all of which led to him being called the King a name which took decades for him to become comfortable with accepting. Call somebody a king, you think of what a king is, you know, and uh, I thought it might add uh, more pressure than I already had, so I didn't like it. I didn't like it up to the last few years, to be honest with you. It doesn't bother me now, but uh, even up into my adulthood, I didn't like the game, didn't like it at all. In fact, Coleman had so much acclaim, Adolph Rupp called him the greatest high school basketball player he had ever seen and that may have rubbed some people the wrong way. You know, I kind of blamed a lot of the booing on the Kentucky, ex, old ex-Kentucky players. I blamed a lot of that on them and I would never have went down there under no circumstance. Many of the derogatory comments and the jeers he heard as a high school player turned into cheers later in life and it seemed to ease some of the scars of his teenage years. You know, to me, basketball was a game and I played it. And uh, I'm glad they feel that way about me, but if they didn't, I'd still be what I am right now, it wouldn't matter.